this video is clearly, clearly not intended for you to give up your medication, throw your medications out of the window, or never go to a doctor if you're sick or you require treatment. The purpose of today's video is to explain to you why nutrition and lifestyle changes are so important. When you are taking medication or you are going through some conventional medical treatment, we're going to understand exactly why people are getting sicker and sicker today. We have fancy hospitals, we have good nutritionists, we have great doctors, we have more medication and more technology, but people are getting sicker and sicker. And it's about time we understood that yes, drugs treat us, but superficially at a very, very high cost. And until we start taking responsibility and accountability for our health personally, and we stop taking our health and putting it in the hands of nutritionists and doctors and say, fix me. We can take their help, we can take their coaching, we can take their expertise to help us heal and put us on that right path. But we are still responsible for our own health. It doesn't matter how big your health insurance is or how much of wealth you have to afford the fanciest doctors and the fanciest hospitals and nutritionists. It doesn't matter if you do not start taking responsibility and accountability for your whole health. Now, what's been happening for the longest time? We keep popping medication. We keep taking antibiotics, steroids, conventional treatments for different reasons. Some of them right, some of them wrong. Some of us self-medicate, which is one of the worst things that we can do. We think, oh, that last antibiotic that the doctor gave me sorted out my viral. I've got viral three months later. Let me just go to the chemist and buy that antibiotic myself and take it. That's called self-medication, or when we keep popping emodiums when we have loose motions or crossins when we have headaches, and we go on popping pill after pill. That's called self-medication, and that is destroying you as much as the drugs that you take from your doctors without making changes in your nutrition and your lifestyle. We need to understand that every drug, every drug, from a paracetamol to a crossin, to any chemotherapy or diabetic medication has a side effect in the human body no matter what your medical professional tells you. Every drug has a side effect. Every drug has to go through your liver in order to be metabolized into whatever action it's going to perform in your body. What we need to understand today is that drugs work differently in everyone's body. Some drugs deplete vitamins and good bacteria from our system. Some drugs block the absorption of vitamins and minerals from the food that we eat into trillions of our cells in the human body. And some drugs wash away completely all the good vitamins, all the good minerals, all the good bacteria, and all the good energy from our cells. Now what happens when these drugs constantly keep depleting, blocking, or washing away key vital minerals and vitamins that your heart needs to function, your liver needs to function, your kidney, your cells, your hair, your skin, your immunity. That's when we start getting sick. That's when the side effects of one drug now produces a new medical ailment in your body. So for example, high blood pressure medication when taken constantly can lead to kidney damage. Diuretics that women take constantly to treat a problem, if not managed the right way with nutrition and lifestyle, will lead, will lead to kidney damage. We all know the side effects of chemo and radiation that a patient goes through when they do not make changes in their nutrition and lifestyle, how it leads to metastatic cancers, how it completely depletes them of energy, and they start moving into organ failure, which is why I always say, study statistics carefully. Most people don't die of their cancers. Very few do. Most of them die because of the side effects of their treatments, liver failure, cardiac arrest, paralytic strokes, shutdown of vital organs, when they do not manage the side effects of the conventional treatment. Do we need treatment? Do we need allopathy? Absolutely yes. We need it when we have a problem. But what we also need is a mindset change to believe that, okay, I'm on this medication because I need it. But now what changes can I make in my nutrition and my lifestyle to ensure that I can get off this in a safe way if I can, or at least manage the side effects of the drug so I don't invite any more disease or drug or, or side effect induced diseases in the body. So now we are going to break down every class of medication on this planet and give you an idea of exactly why you need to change the way you eat and you need to change your lifestyle when you're on any medication. Let's look at the first category. They're called anti antipyretics. This includes your simple medication that you take to reduce 
and suppress fever. Your crocins, your paracetamols, okay, let's not get into naming any drugs. It's antipyretics, the class of drugs that is used to suppress or reduce fever. It depletes folic acid, it depletes vitamin C, it depletes iron, potassium, and glutathione, the master antioxidant that is made in the liver. Without this ma master antioxidant in the human body, we have more free radicals. We all know what more free radicals cause, low immunity inflammation, joint pain, back pain. We all know what the deficiency of folic acid, vitamin C, iron, and potassium does to the human body. So when and, when, and if we have to take these drugs, we need to change the way we eat and make sure we have the right foods that contain the very vitamins and minerals that are getting depleted. Let's move to the next category, anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. That, those are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, all of your painkillers that you take. It is depleting calcium, potassium, folic acid, iron, vitamin C, and melatonin. Melatonin, the sleep hormone. And what do we see? People who are on painkillers, they usually have difficulties falling asleep. It's easy to say it's because of the pain, but it is also because of the painkiller you're taking because it depletes melatonin the sleep hormone that puts you to sleep. And again, we spoke about calcium, folic acid, iron, and vitamin C. Okay, let's talk about steroids. It's so easy for people to be put onto steroids. Many times for the right reason. Many times because people don't know what, how to treat a particular condition, so then you look at steroids to reduce certain inflammations in the human body. Steroids deplete selenium, a key mineral, a key mineral without which your thyroid gland cannot function which is why part of the thyroid protocol that is healing thyroid glands of thousands of people across the world and they are no longer on medication today is because we fix their thyroid glands to work with the one mineral that was depleted, selenium. Steroids will also deplete calcium, vitamin D, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, and magnesium. Magnesium is such an important mineral that has over 500 to 1,000 different functions in the human body, ranging from your brain to your muscles to your heart to cardiac arrests, the working of your kidney, your liver, energy levels in your cells. Let's move now to antacids. Let's move on to antacids or proton pump inhibitors. That's why I'm so against people popping antacids. You look at any medical prescription given by a doctor today, there'll be five or six or seven pills with an antacid. Is the doctor wrong? Absolutely not. Because the doctor knows that many of the side effects of the medication he's put, on, put you on will now create acidity, which is why you're on an antacid. The dangers of antacids, although necessary sometimes, it affects the three Bs, the big Bs, your bones, by depleting calcium and magnesium, your blood by depleting iron and vitamin B12, and your bowels by depleting all of your good bacteria leading to a leaky gut syndrome or an autoimmune disorder which further promotes Hashimoto's, thyroid, lupus, Crohn's, you name the auto autoimmune disorder, eczema, psoriasis, all of that stuff because the key vitamins and minerals got depleted because of the medication you're on. This could have been prevented or made better if we changed the way we ate and ate foods rich in those vitamins and minerals which are being depleted from the human body. Now let's talk about antibiotics, my favorite subject, and yet 89 to 90% of the clients and patients I see every day have been prescribed antibiotics without probiotics, or without the simple advice of go home and eat some curd or something that's rich in probiotics. Forget about a supplement. And B-complex vitamins. Because what do antibiotics do? They wipe your gut of all the good bacteria, which is why you tend to get loose motions and churning in your stomach and cramps when you take antibiotics. Your stools change because your gut can no longer function the way it should without the right bacteria. Antibiotics flush out all of your B vitamins, be it B1, B3, B6, B9, B12, and B5, which is why patients going through chemotherapy, which wipes out most of your bacteria, either have severe constipation or they have severe diarrhea. And then you're given more allopedic medications to, cro to, to cure the diarrhea and the constipation, where all the patient needs is the right B vitamin, which has zero side effects, compared to the drugs that the doctors will give you to now fix the new problem. 
So antibiotics have to go with the right probiotics, with the right B vitamins. Extremely important. Now let's move to our next category, birth control pills. Yes, it may be very, very necessary for certain women who are going through extreme hormonal dysfunction. But for all the young girls and young women out there who are given birth control pills to treat the symptom of hormonal imbalance and PCOD, it is the worst decision you can make for your daughter or for yourself. You never correct the root cause of the problem. Most PCOD and hormonal issues are caused because of stress because of junk food, because of sugar, and because of lack of activity. And your birth control pill, yes, it will keep your weight down. It will help you lose a little bit of weight, but it will drastically make you lose your health at the same time. Birth control pills mess up your hormones even more. They deplete magnesium, zinc, tyrosine, tryptophan, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And you tend to have copper toxicity in the human body when you're on birth control pills. And because you have excess copper, you rapidly deplete zinc, which is actually the mineral required to balance hormones. So you can see your birth control pill is the easy way out, but it's making you sicker and sicker. So if you really, really have to be on that or your daughters have to be on that, Make sure you're giving them the right food or the right supplementation to balance what the birth control is depleting. Antidepressant drugs may be required in most cases, but it doesn't mean that we have to be on antidepressants for a lifetime. We got to be counseled. We got to make the antidepressant drugs interfere with serotonin production going through depression have to work on their gut health. They have to work on improving the health of their gut so that they can improve their immunity and allow the gut to naturally produce serotonin, which is what helps you with depression in the first place. For people who are on these drugs, be mindful that it is depleting CoQ10 enzyme from your cells. CoQ10 enzyme has everything it needs to do with cellular energy which is why people who are on antidepressant drugs are constantly tired and constantly fatigued because their drug is depleting them of CoQ10 enzyme. So you've got to supplement with CoQ10 enzyme if you're on this. It is also depleting vitamin B2, B6, B9, and B12. B6 is so important when it comes to weight loss. If you don't have the right B6 in your body, you tend to put on weight or your weights, weights tend tends to be stubborn. So it's important that we also make sure that we're eating foods that are rich in vitamin D, K, melatonin, selenium, magnesium, glutathione, and zinc. These are all the vitamins and minerals that your antidepressant drug is depleting, which is why even, even although it's considered as a psychological problem, you still make to, have to make dietary changes and changes in your lifestyle. Let's move to anti-diabetic drugs. Diabetes is killing people all across the country and yet people have this attitude, this very, very, very shallow attitude of thinking that, oh, I have the best diabetologist doctor. I see the top endocrinologist doctor at Hindu Jaws or Kokila Ben and they drop all these big names. Well, you should know that your anti-diabetic drug is not keeping you healthy. Statistical deception. It is only keeping your levels looking good on your report unless you're looking at the root cause of what is making your sugar levels irregular and erratic all of the time. Your diabetic drugs are depleting CoQ10 enzyme again, which is why most diabetic patients feel tired and fatigued throughout the day. If your cells do not have the right energy, you are lowering your immunity. Immunity starts and begins in every one of those trillion cells. And here you have a drug trying to treat your symptom and depleting you of your health. So am I telling you to give up your diabetic drugs? No, I'm trying to motivate you that if you are on a drug that is caused because of lifestyle, your medicine is lifestyle to change and reverse the way you live and eat and move and think and slowly get off that medication with your doctor in the loop in a safe way. Your diabetic drug is also depleting vitamin B12, B6, the weight loss vitamin, B9, vitamin K, magnesium, vitamin B3, vitamin C. And it has a direct correlation with the health of your kidney and the health of your liver, which is why we see most diabetic patients eventually get kidney problems 
or they get fatty livers even if they don't drink alcohol and eat red meat. Now let's move straight into antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs will deplete, will deplete copper, zinc and vitamin C so we need to make sure that we eat well whenever we have vitamin D deficiencies. And coming down finally to laxatives, synthetic laxatives. People just pop laxatives like candy. You're constipated, pop a laxative. You should understand that laxatives are depleting you. It is used to induce quick bowel movement. It is depleting you of calcium. It is depleting you of vitamin A, D, E, and K. All your fat-soluble vitamins because it needs time for these vitamins to be absorbed into your body. But because you've taken a synthetic laxative, it is flushing out your stools, your fecal matter, with all of your vitamins as well. Which is why people who use synthetic laxatives also have dull skin. They have the inability to lose weight. They have low immunity and they have heavy vitamin deficiencies. Thyroid medication is man-made thyroid hormones. It depletes you of calcium, phosphates and salts, which, it is, which is why it is so important for people on thyroid medication to either possibly try to get off it the safe way if you can or make sure that your calcium and D3 levels are always on the higher side. And finally, to end it with chemotherapy drugs, a category of cancer treatment that depletes every class, every class of nutrients in the human body, including proteins, fats, and micronutrients. So here when you have your doctor telling you, eat what you want, eat what you want, put on weight, they don't have the guts to tell you or probably even the knowledge to tell you that the side effect of their medication is depleting you of all your nutrients. And no matter how much you eat, you will not put on that weight. In fact, you put oxidative damage on your liver, your colon, your gut, and you'll have new problems in the human body. What you need are micronutrients. What you need is your doctor telling you, listen, you're doing chemo. It is very, very important for you to eat a nutrient-dense diet that is giving you all of these vitamins and minerals that my treatment is now going to wipe you clean off. Starting from glutathione, your antioxidant, st from vitamin D to B12 to B9, magnesium, vitamin E, L-carnitine, zinc, C, CoQ10, B9, vitamin K, omega-3 fatty acids. We can go on and on. Every class of nutrients gets depleted which is why the side effects of chemotherapy is so drastic. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. We have two categories of patients that we've been studying for years and years. The category that goes through chemo and radiation without a change in lifestyle and nutrients. And they suffer through all of the side effects. They get sicker and sicker. They get diabetes. They get cardiovascular problems. They move into organ failure. And then you have the category that looks at their nutrition and looks at their lifestyle change, physical as well as emotional. And these are the patients who have more chances of going into remission. These are the patients who heal. These are the patients who do not allow the side effects of the treatment to destroy them. Well, that's about it for today's call. I hope you get the understanding and the vision to understand that if you are on medication, if your parents, if our parents, the elderly people are on medication, we can educate them, we can make them aware that you need to eat the right foods because your medication that the doctor tells you to take and the hope of the patient believing that one pill is going to heal them is a lie. It's a scam. It will make you feel better because that's how drugs are designed to make you feel. It will make your levels look better. Yes, it will save your life in many, many cases, but it will eventually destroy you and your loved ones. If you do not change the way you eat, you do not change the way you sleep, you do not change your attitude and perspective towards your stress levels, and you do not add movement to your sedentary lifestyle if it is that way. Nutrition is the founding blocks of every one cell in your body, and every one disease starts and originates from a cell it is common sense. You don't need a degree. You don't need an education to tell you that if disease originates in a cell, what should you feed the cell to stay strong and clean out toxins? Food. It's as simple as that. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.